I'm Lindsay Smith with Real Agriculture. We are here uh, in Gatineau at the Canadian Centre for Food Integrity third annual public trust summit. And you were just on a panel, um, covered a lot of ground. I wanted to start with, though, um, a little bit of a blurb about how to eat, because sure. there's just so much, I think, from this conference, we've got all these different things at play. And so some resources like this are really great. So tell me about how to eat. So How to Eat started as a food blog about six years ago, and then over the last two years, we've become a food and nutrition communication team. So we still have the food blog, um, and we create uh, recipes, engaging articles, just around helping people relax about their food, raise happy, healthy eaters, and enjoy meals together with their families. What are some of the biggest concerns that you feel from people who are coming to How to Eat? Um, People are really concerned about the food they're feeding their children. So our main demographic is moms. Um, and they just want to always, obviously, we all do, want to do the best for their kids. So that's basically the main concern. You know, is this safe? Can I feed my kids this? And just worry over that. So we try to kind of get people to relax, enjoy food, dispel some of the myths around foods. Um, so people can gain joy and satisfaction from eating. Because that's what you should feel when you eat. So what then? I mean, we're here obviously with with uh, the whole value chain there. We have farmers here. We have food processors. We have food retail all in sort of the same room and talking about, you know, how do we dispel some of those myths and some of those concerns? And so I, you know, in listening to your talk on the panel, talking about, you know, connecting with dietitians and, and with the people that are exactly that sort of front line with our consumer, how how does agriculture do a better job at connecting with that consumer? How does agriculture connect with the consumer better? Well, I think they could use the experts. Um, I think there is a big problem with people understanding exactly what dietitians do. So people may trust dietitians. They may know we do something with food, but not really understanding that we are food and nutrition experts and a credible source of information. So I think we all have to do a better job at that. Um, and I think we have to also, you know, recognize how people are feeling first, you know, when someone doesn't understand something about agriculture or is coming at it from a different angle, um, instead of just attacking them back, kind of recognizing how they're feeling and then approaching the conversation in that way. And again, utilizing us to help get that message out. And so as a dietitian, where do you get your information from? From the farmers. Um, thankfully, I've had, I actually now have, you know, close friends who are farmers through my many farm tours and, and media tours. And really, they're the best source of information, right? Because they are the ones who are actually in the trenches who are growing the food. So we go to them for the when we have a question about our agriculture system. And so then how as individual farmers could we, what tips do you have for someone to do a better job potentially of communicating what they do? I think it's uh, telling your personal story. That's how you're going to make that connection with someone. So instead of using, you know, technical terms and talking about technology, talk about your family farm. Talk about how you're the fifth generation farmer, how you're doing this also not only to feed Canadians, but you're doing this to, this is your livelihood. You're, you're trying to support your family and feed your own family. And I feel like people will relate to that better and then want to listen more when they hear those stories. And where can people go for more information about how to eat? Um, you can visit our site at howtoeat.ca. Um, you can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook at How to Eat Blog. We're on Twitter and Instagram at how underscore to underscore eat. I know it's a lot of underscores. It's really they're important. They, yeah, important to underscores, um, and that's how they can they can follow us. All right, Dora. Thanks so much. Thank you.